Today we're going to talk about Boxing in the Rock, Episode 6. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was a really good, was a rather good episode. But anyway, keep on watching. Like I said just a while ago, it was a um, rather good episode, but we're not going to get ahead of ourselves, guys. Okay? First order of business, the thumbnail. This was the, um, uh, this was the final scene where Bochi finally sold the fight, uh, sold the fight tickets she was assigned to sell for, for their concert, for their, first, for their first ever concert. The bad thing about it is, hindi na niniwala sa kanyang mga bandmates niya. It was a satisfying moment in the episode, uh, knowing that our main pro tag has, well, made another small step in her, um, in her, uh, what's it called this? Uh, in her quest to, uh, to solve her social anxiety problems, right? Say, wow, eh. She said, uh, based on what, what you saw in the thumbnail, she's probably at an all-time high right there and there. So with that out of the way, let's get to the nitty-gritty of the review. Pace! Yeah, slice of light pacing with the occasional speed up courtesy of the funny mo courtesy of the comic moments. Yung, ah, uh, kumbaga eh, minsan eh, ina-atake ng kanyang anxiety si, si Hitori. Wow. She has a hilarious way of expressing her her social anxieties from within, <laughs> and the pacing will uh, will will, uh, will help you uh, will help you understand this. Okay, talagang well, it is a slice of life anime, guys. So yeah, expect the rather slow pacing, but let me assure you, it's also. Uh, there, there's a, there are also comic elements in which the pacing will make you feel. Bottom line, no complaints at all. So, man, first gear shift here was when Hitori uh, lied to her newfound friend, the, uh, the grown up pieces, na, na si Gera. For me, that's a gear shift. Kasi, um, Hitori would. Bottom line, okay? This is her basic, her basic instinct. Hitri would say and do anything just to get out of a situation, so as not to stand out, so as not to even talk to any, to anybody, or she might say the wrong things. Well, well, if you're too conscious about saying the wrong things, it did this. This is what usually happens, even when you don't have social anxiety. So, the gearship was quite relatable and totally reminds us that, well, yeah, okay? You, you want to act like, you want to act like an adult, you better be careful in what you say. You better be careful with what you say to, to others, right? But, don't overthink it. <laughs> it can lead to sometimes hilarious results, right? As in this gearship. Final gear shift, yup, dalawa lang po, was when Hitori was finally able to open at least one eye and see um, how the public is responding to her guitar playing. That's an opener of a gear shift, folks, because of one thing. Hitori is slowly getting over her, yeah, obvious stage fright. Kahit isa. Kahit isang matalangin na kabukas sa kanya all throughout the performance. I would be an idiot guys if I do not call that a gearship because well, uh, it's a character development gearship for the, for the main protag. Alright, gets nyo? So these two gearships that I saw they it won't be enough if you just uh, watch these two gearships. Watch the entire episode. Plot lines. Alright. Base Raider sequence, which, yeah, which totally contributed to the comic element of this episode. Therefore, Malinis ang plot, guys. 
in a slice of life anime, you do really you you actually don't need uh, iron out different sequences or just to put out a plot. Okay, all you need is one clean one. Kasi nga slice of life. Mabaka na nga pacing, tapos naregan yung panag ng uh, side story, back story, or in whatever uh, in whatever time you want in the episode. I couldn't see this episode having a side story or a back story. It's mainly sequence, yes. Lala Joan, Lala Joan sequence where uh, where the grown up basis is, is is trying to explain her cycle of um. Well, obviously it's an obviously it's an it's an addiction to alcohol. Okay, obviously she's an alcoholic, and she's trying to justify it through this explainer sequence, which is hilarious. Okay, you really need a clean plot if you want to make people uh, laugh their asses off all throughout the episode. Yeah, so pace, flow, and plot. We all get together for this episode, folks. What's your thought? Delivers another good episode. And wow, all right. Like um, uh, you would actually cheer for Hitori when uh, when she finally sold those five tickets, and of course, gave up the uh, her that that's her very first three performance. Not bad. So, watching the rock episode six. Dessert. Junaja. So far, this anime has um, wow, it's totally entertained. He's totally um, um, totally made me celebrate life. That's what slice of life animes do, guys. Right? Moral lessons and uh, and uh, they also act as a medium to to help us celebrate life. Right? What puro mo? What puro problema mo na isipin? Right? Kaya sila, sinasabi nga sa atin parati ng mga, ng mga sikat na entrepreneurs and thought leaders. Focus on the solution, not the problem. So, yeah. These slice of life animes will help you, uh, will help you, basically will help you celebrate life. Right? Both the good and the bad, because that's, that's what life is. That's life. I mean, bottom line, that's life. So! Watch the next review. So again, Pochi the Rock, episode 6.